the newton raphson method is used to find the roots of a function. In this example, I will look at the function f of x equals x cubed plus x minus 9. This is a cubic function. Actually, it's a cubic function that does not have turning points. That's possible. Um, it has one real root. It crosses the x-axis at a value that is close to 2, and we have to determine that value. Now, I won't explain where this formula comes from. Maybe I will in another video. But xn, the xn's are a sequence of values that approximate to the actual root. So x1 is the first approximation. And here we're going to take x1 equals 2 as the first approximation. You can see from the graph that it crosses the x-axis at a value that is close to 2. Now from this first approximation, we can work out a second, hopefully better, approximation. We can get x2, and that's what we have to do here. This is x2 is the second approximation. Uh, we could keep going and then get x3 and x4 and so on. So let's see what we have to do. Well, we use this formula here to generate successive approximations. So we have x plus 1 which is the next approximation after xn. So if we know xn, we can get xn plus 1. We have to work out f of xn. Well, f of xn is going to be xn cubed plus xn minus 9. We just replace x with xn. And then we divide by the derivative of f with respect to x at xn. But what is the derivative of f? f prime of x is 3x squared plus 1. Let's differentiate this. And we want f prime at xn, so we're going to get 3xn squared plus 1. Now, in order to find x2, the second approximation, we let n equals 1 in the newton raphson formula. If we let n equals 1, we get x of 1 plus 1, but that's x2. That's what we're, lo we're looking for. We're looking for x2. Letting n equal 1 on, on the right-hand side, you see we get x1 minus x1 cubed plus x1 minus 9 over 3x1 squared plus 1. And we're going to plug 2 in for x1. So on, in the numerator of this fraction, we get 2 cubed is 8, plus 2 is 10, minus 9 is 1, over 3 times 2 squared. That's 3 times 4, which is 12, plus 1 is 13. So we have 2 minus 1 over 13, which is 1.9231. Now this is the answer to the question, but if you want to, you can go... Another step, you can we can get x, that's x2. We can now get x3. To get x3, we let n equal 2. So if we let n equal 2 in this formula, we get x of 2 plus 1, or x3, equals x2 minus x2 cubed plus x2 minus 9 divided by 3x2 squared plus 1. And what we do is we plug 1.9231 in for x2 and calculate all of this to get x3. So if you go through all that calculation to four decimal places, you will get 1.9202. Notice that the first two decimal places haven't changed. So it looks like the root is going to be 1.92 something. A nice online program for plotting functions is fooplot.com. So I have x cubed plus x minus 9 plotted here and we can keep zooming in. I press on the zoom button here. We can keep zooming in and in particular we can look at at the root of this function. So you can see that we're homing in on the root which appears to be 1.9 something. See, it's between 1.9 and 1.95 here. There we have it. It looks like 1.92 to two decimal places. 
and we can keep zooming in. So you, can, you see it's between 1.92 and 1.925, so it is indeed, to two decimal places, the root is indeed 1.92.